equipment bundling them to normalize vehicles and sometimes you get an identified object. But this when has, was that? This has <laughs> opportunity. Ah, and when was anyone bundled in the All the people you are people talking about have been uh, arrested yeah. and yeah. abducted. They are being robbed and bundled in numberless vehicles known as drones. So we are wondering, you are you not concerned as a security? This is information you have to use. That is every way. Uh, unless you don't follow the news in the this is the news that is every way. Some of those are misinformation. <laughs> so are you concerned as I think that this is continuing in the broad day light? No, let's let's answer this five, then we'll continue. Uh, you will agree with me that that is a very general question. When you say young people, you should say they picked JJ or court and so on. We do not know where they are. It would be much easier for me to respond than when you say young people. It becomes an amorphous question for me, and it begins. It becomes for me to hunt here and wish there. So let's try to be more specific and say so and so has disappeared. What has happened? It will be more helpful for our conversation for us to be able to give you information that is helpful. Now you've and you've also indicated that um, security forces helped certain candidates to, to gain advantage over others. Well, this is the general picture out there that people would want to paint. It is true, you may have seen some of these videos, but how authentic are these videos, for example? How authentic are they? Can we verify them or they are concoctions? That still remains a question for you and I to resolve before we emphatically say security forces. Now, yes, please. You wanted to add. I could add something. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. I have seen about two videos that have been saturated, where a policeman and the, and the, a polling um, yeah, a polling official. They are returning these um, counted votes it back to the box. back to the box. So they, they go and take a picture of that, and then they saturate it that the policeman was stuffing. <laughs> when actually they were returning the, the votes into, into that. And they into make it, you know, it is like one minute, or one, maybe 30 seconds. And people will not know that what actually had happened. So we yes. need to verify all this they are talking about, yes. and then we, we, we inform the country about what happened. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. so the scene was actually a legitimate act by the security agencies together with the polling official to ensure that the ballots that had been counted were returned to the box so that they can be delivered to the telling center as the law requires. All our sister security agencies for having, for having made their contributions towards this success. During the presidential and parliamentary elections, a total of 250 election-related offenses were registered in the country. And out of the 28 policing regions, five did not register any major incident. These include Kidepo region, Mount Moroto, CP, that is Kapturwa, Seziboa, and West Nile. Those ones did not register any major incident. We are happy that the local council elections have been successful too, 
as we approach the final stages of the elections. Honorable Minister, although our risk assessment of the post-election violence and related vulnerabilities have reduced, we are aware of alarming assertions by disgruntled former presidential candidates that the election was mad with the fraud and irregularities. They are spreading false information and disinformation to try to influence public perception and to promote hatred. From a security point of view, such unfounded claims have a potential of funding violence in our communities. We do strongly discourage such acts and advise the candidates to seek redress before the courts of law, which are there and functioning very well. As we draw towards the end of the elections, our enforcement actions are still on, not lowering our guards. We continue to employ effective measures on the levels of vigilance and alertness as we monitor all forms of threats. Honorable Minister, we are very firm on the ground and would like to reassure all Ugandans and visitors to our country to remain confident and steadfast. They should also obtain information on the electoral process from trusted sources and report any suspicious activities to the nearest police unit. I say all this for God and my country. Thank you, Honorable Minister. Almost two weeks since we held the presidential and parliamentary election. You will agree with me, as indeed the Inspector General of Police has already indicated, that we had very peaceful elections all over the country, save for isolated minor criminal acts, which the Inspector General of Police has already informed us about. Today, therefore, I want to take this opportunity to thank you all, fellow countrymen, for heeding to our appeal to you to keep the peace. 